For today's project, we're going to be using pastels. If you don't have pastels and you're working from home, that's okay. I'll show you later what some other options are. But we're going to be starting out using the pastels. So I've got two kinds of chalk pastels here. Both of them work basically the same way. I have a really soft chalk pastel, really soft and bright in this box. And then I also have some slightly harder, more earth tone pastels over here. And I'm gonna show you how both of them look. The first thing that we're going to want to do whenever we start any drawing is we're going to add, some people say the picture plane. It's gonna create a margin around the edge. Really, it's just a box. If I wanted this to be a really crisp, clean drawing, I would use a ruler for this box. But this one's a little bit messier and it's just for practice. So I'm going to just draw the box as best I can just by looking at it. The next thing that we're going to want is a horizon line. So the horizon line is going to go, um, usually artists will put it one third up or one third down. The horizon line is the place where the sky meets the ground. And there can be things that go above the horizon line that we're gonna put in later, but we wanna start out with that line so we know where our horizon is. So I'm gonna draw my horizon up here. And then everything that is above that is going to be mostly sky, and everything that is below it will be mostly ground. The next thing I'm going to do is start filling in. I like to fill in from back to front and top to bottom. So the thing that is farthest away in this drawing is going to be the sky. So I'm gonna start by filling in the sky. If you have a really good pastel set, then it will probably have a couple more colors of blue, but I only have this really bright blue and that's a little bit too bright for the sky. So I'm gonna also be using this white pastel to tone it down a little bit. So I'm gonna start out with kind of the edge of the pastel. And I'm gonna start putting kind of lightly this layer of blue in up here. I don't wanna fill it in really dark because then that's going to be too dark for my sky. But I can be a little bit loose and scribbly if I want. And then I'm going to start putting in my white as well. These two are going to blend together. One of the things that I like about pastel is that you can blend just with your finger and that's what I'm going to do now because I don't like the texture so much up here. I want it to be a little bit smoother, especially for the back. So I'm just gonna come up and blend with my finger. I did the same thing with the background using yellow, red, and brown pastels. First applying the pastel using the side and then going over it with my finger to smear it together. The last thing that I did for the background was added some mountains. Because I was thinking of the Northern New Mexico and Utah area, my mountains are very abrupt and upright and kind of mesa-like, but you could draw whichever mountains belong to the area that you are thinking of. They could be a lot smoother and a lot uh, purpler if they're really far away, just depending on the area you have in mind. In my next video, we're going to be looking at using the pastels with a sharp edge to make scribble bushes where we're using kind of a tight, sharp uh, stipple to make bushes.